Do you have chest pain or palpitations? Those may seem weird, but those are the most common reasons that people come and see a cardiologist. Hey guys, my name is Dr. Isang and I'm a practicing cardiologist for the past year. I'm gonna be discussing about chest pain and palpitations as those are the most common things that we see, what my thoughts are, what we do to work you up, things to look out for, things that are scary. And now the first one is chest pain. What, pain. what is chest pain that is concerning for us? Once again, chest pain that's here, mid-sternal, pain that radiates to the shoulder, pain that is worse with stress, or exertion and pain that gets better with rest or medication called nitroglycerin. If you do have these cardinal symptoms, it can be very concerning that you may be having an um, impending heart issue, such as a heart attack. So you wanna be worked up if, appropriately, especially if the chest pain is severe, you definitely wanna go and be seen in the emergency department to make sure that you're not having a heart attack. But a lot of people don't have those classic symptoms, especially women. Unfortunately, like I said before, a lot of the tests were done in men. So now that women are presenting with chest pain, that is a little bit differently. We need to be particularly careful in when we're evaluating them. Women can present with chest pain differently. They can present with shortness of breath as their primary symptom. They can be present with jaw pain, shoulder pain, back pain, fatigue. And though they don't meet the cardinal symptoms, they can be very concerning for impending heart issue. So what are the tests that we can do for this? Something like a stress test if they're stable, but if they're not, if their EKG is abnormal, if they have elevated blood enzymes called troponin, then you would wanna evaluate to, as to whether they need a cardiac catheterization, uh, an investigation as to whether they're having an acute blockage that needs to be treated immediately. In the ER, you will get worked up for that with an EKG, a troponin, and possibly a stress test. Now, if it is normal, it doesn't end there. It actually switches to the outpatient setting where we look at other risk factors, other things that could be causing this. Sometimes you may get a CT scan and in some cases even an MRI to look if you have any inflammation of the heart that can be causing these symptoms. But not all chest pain is coming from the heart. It can come from the liver, the pancreas, the sternum itself. So due diligence and appropriate follow-up is key. Shifting to the second one. Palpitations, this is very common that we see both in the hospital and out of the hospital. One of the things that I always tell my patients is, if you're having true cardiac palpitations that is concerning, it doesn't care what time it is. A lot of people will have palpitations that they sense more when things are quiet or when they're at rest at home. Those are very common in it. It could be something else that, we, that could be causing it. It could be stress, it could be um, excess caffeine, it could be certain foods that you're eating. True palpitations come on suddenly without any warning. So what, we, what do we do for it? An EKG, an electrocardiogram, where we look to see what the electrical rhythm looks like. For a lot of people, these EKGs will be normal, so we may want to step further and do a, um, a heart monitor we can monitor it for as low as 24 hours, but upwards to 30 days and even um, and a loop recorder, which can go for one year plus. So this is pretty much it when it comes to chest pain and palpitation, the two most common things, knowing what the symptoms are, but understanding that these symptoms are evolving. With palpitations, we can do tests such as an EKG, such as a, a Holter monitor, an event monitor, to further investigate it to make sure that you are not at risk for having something like a stroke from atrial fibrillation or something else. My name is Dr. Isang, and if you found any benefit in this, and if you want more information regarding this, drop it in the comments.